What's going on guys, Bank Robber Games here with more Ratchet and Clank 2. Last episode when we left off, we came to Planet Snivlak and made our way through the Thugs for Less, Less headquarters. And uh, yeah, we had a Platinum Bolt and our last health upgrade that we needed to collect. And at the end of the episode, we had a very cool boss battle. Uh, it's a, it is a cool boss battle, but like I said last episode, it is just a little bit repetitive. If you know, you know, but I recommend going back and watching that. Uh, so you don't miss out and you know where we are in the story because we had a couple of story developments as well after we rescued Angela from the Thugs for Less leader. But this episode, same as normal, we're just going to be carrying on with the story and moving on to the next planet and that will be the distribution facility on planet Smog. And this is a very fun planet. Uh, there's quite a, uh, there's a few different uh, routes we can take and a couple of platinum nice. bolts as well. And I think the next planet also has a really cool soundtrack, if I remember correctly. The soundtrack for this game is really good overall. See if you can find any more news on the proto pets. And now, Behind the Hero brings you the conclusion of our series on Captain Quark. As of this airing, the fugitive superhero has been missing for almost six weeks. Did he die heroically? Was he the victim of an overzealous fan? Or is he still out there somewhere? The galaxy may never know, but stay tuned for more baseless speculation and crackpot theories on Behind the Hero. Well, no more Quark. Good. It is almost time for RoboChef. I'm curious to know what robots eat in the Ratchet and Clank universe. I guess we'll never know. Just top up on our shield charger ammo because it is quite useful uh, for this planet. And I think first off, we're going to come over here on this le left path. And you can see this jump pad here sends us all the way over to this big warehouse. See, we started off way, way back over there. Just get these crates quickly. Charge Beast was such a good addition to the game. These guys I always use as a little bit of an XP farm or our shield charger. One rocket with the acid damage mod is actually enough to take those guys out, thankfully. Should mean that we get a lot more use out of our mini rocket tube and be able to hopefully level it up fully this episode or this planet. Just taking care of that guy so he doesn't break our shields. Maybe one rocket isn't enough, we might have just caught multiple um, enemies in one uh, rocket explosion when we attack that last group. But you might notice they did give a de pretty decent amount of XP. It's down here you want to avoid stepping on that button, like before. Just use these guys as a little bit of an XP farm our shield charger. It is a little bit tedious upgrading the shield charger, but it is definitely well worth uh, the upgrades. Might actually be worth grabbing those ammo crates after you just beat all the enemies should uh, top you back up to full. Your shield will eventually break after dealing damage to enemies. 
it doesn't just break uh, once, you know, from taking damage. You do do more damage with the mini rocket tube if you get a direct hit. The explosion does do reduce uh, damage. But it is a very powerful weapon. Just making sure to get on the bolts. And you might see the platinum bolt up there waiting for us. I'll have to remember how we get to it. But I'll definitely get it, so don't worry. I'm just going to look up quickly how to get that golden with that platinum bolt just to make sure I don't miss it for you guys and it saves us having to come back. So after looking it up very quickly, it's actually very easy to get, but also you can definitely see why people miss it and uh, why I forgot how to get it. So once you get to this area, you just will jump up the crates, ignore the funny textures there and then just jump across and there's our first platinum bolt on the planet and there will be another one that we have to get which will be a bit of a challenge to get to ambush section I'm not actually doing too badly for shield charge weapon experience Many rocket tubes doing pretty well as well. That's it. Not quite sure where that beeping is coming from. I don't know if it's the uh, dynamos.
Hello. Ratchet and Clank. You lucky devils. Angela Cross. Has just sent you a galactic greeting. Guys, if you get this message, please meet me on my home world. Just so you know, I found my old ID badge. I'm pretty sure we can still use it to infiltrate Megacorp HQ, but you're gonna have to hurry. <laughs> Before the protopets completely overrun us! Oh, and uh, sorry for the balloonogram. It was the only thing I could get off this point. We hope you enjoyed your galactic greeting. That Angela is quite resourceful. Yeah, she thinks of everything, doesn't she? She also appears to be in great danger. Yeah, not the sort of snowball fight I want to get into with the protopets. But even after getting our coordinates for our next planet, we've still got quite a lot of level left to explore. Again, just topping up on our bag. So that's the point. If you want to see exactly how much the shield charger is upgraded, if you come to the vendor, you get the sort of full size bar to give you a better idea of how far you've got left to. Upgrade it. You can also use these as cover from the robot that comes out and uh, shoots at you. chance I yeah I always like to upgrade the shield charger just because the level 2 version is so much more powerful I think it absorbs more damage as well See, we've got another infiltrator puzzle there that we need to do to deactivate this fence. Unfortunately, it's not like Ratchet Clank one where you can use, you know, if they run into the fence, they uh, take care of themselves. And uh, using the taunter on enemies. Start upgrading our mini rocket tube there. Something else you can do to upgrade the shield charger is if you damage an enemy, if you know how many rockets it takes to take down those guys or you know, any other enemy, that's a little bit tougher. And uh, yeah, damage them to get their health low and then finish them off with the shield charger. Uh, that's quite a good way of. Upgrading it quite quickly. Just didn't quite manage to get the upgrade off there before running out of ammo. Hopefully, we'll get some ammo crates soon. So, almost halfway with the shield charger.
think the sort of plasma ball effect the plasma storm uh, projectile has looks really cool as well. So here we get part of a gadget. You found a hypnomatic part. You need all of the parts to make the hypnomatic gadget. But we'll get the rest of those fairly soon. Charger here. He's worth it, you can see we've got quite a long way uh, till level two, so not long left until we'll be able to enjoy that. actually have a fully upgraded arsenal by the end of this planet which will put us in good stead for the next couple of planets we have to do make things a lot easier but yeah going back to the ship you can see those swing shot targets bring us over to the other uh, sort of objective critical path I was very lucky there Something a bit awkward with platforming in this game is when you get over a platform, you sort of lose momentum and you double jump. If you're gliding, you keep it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, a bit difficult to describe. Once you go over your next platform, you just sort of slow down in, in the air and uh, lose a lot of your control as well. But here we have a fun levitated section. there'd be a platinum bolt hidden in, the, in this section as well. It starts off quite easy but the platinum bolt is very difficult to get. So the next platform we're going to is this tower that's the same as the one we're on here and we've got to get up to there in order to get the platinum bolt and uh, yeah you only just about have enough uh, fuel but you've got to be careful not to fly too far forward and uh, sort of hit the bottom of it but you've also got to make sure that you get close enough so you can you know glide down or land on it normally you'd go over to that sort of boat thing over there you can see on the right but yeah we have to get all the platinum bolts this might take me a couple of attempts but you never know we might get lucky you can see it's quite far away now but to progress we just go down there Didn't quite make it there. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get back to the platform. But I'll uh, meet you guys back there, sort of on the attempt that I'll get it. Hopefully, it won't take me too long. Thankfully we managed to get it on our second attempt, so it didn't take me long at all. 
and it does help using the camera there a bit but also if you go to the side that way you run less risk of sort of running into the uh, bottom of it and hitting your head I'm not quite sure if we can make it back to that platform yeah, the charge boots make it back Inside here, Let's see, if we've got another tower that we need to head to. It's quite cool how you can use your weapons while flying. That is the one thing that I think the uh, Ratchet and Clank remake did quite well is the uh, flying sections on a couple of the planets, they were very fun. I haven't played a crack in time yet, so I don't know if not crack in time. Um, what's the new one that came out? Uh, Rift Apart. Yeah. Um, it took me a while to. I played crack in time. That's one of my probably one of my favourite games in the series. Um, but yeah, I haven't played uh, Rift Apart yet, so I don't know if it's back in uh, that game. I'll probably just make my way through the rest of the series in sort of chronological order and um, yeah, show it off as a. I'll either do a blind playthrough, because that'd be quite fun, or I'll do another walkthrough style uh, series on it. Finally level up the mini rocket tube to the mega rocket cannon and uh, yeah it's very cool it fires much faster and you can also if you hold down the circle button you can charge multiple shots at the same time but the majority of the time it is overkill uh, for a lot of the enemies that are in the game it's useful against uh, some of the bosses though and it just yeah it tends to use too much ammo to make it worth it. Should be able to destroy these guys in one shot as well, yeah. So it doesn't have a massive damage increase with the uh, level 2 version, but it's a very powerful weapon to begin with. So I'd still recommend buying it. It just absolutely carries you through certain sections of the game. Not quite as much as the plasma coil, that definitely. Uh, is a must buy I'd say. You can, you know, land on those different sections and get all the crates, uh, but then you have to go back down to the ground and fly up again. So I just blew them up to save a bit of time. And because there's ammo crates there, it shouldn't really cost us anything either. Yeah, we're back at full ammo. So this is the last little levitator section. And, uh, here we'll run into an interesting character, shall we say. And you will have, to, there, there is another bolt check here where you have to have a certain number of bolts in order to uh, buy uh, what he's selling. Uh, but you can come back at any point using that teleporter if you don't have enough bolts in your first visit for whatever reason. Go ahead. You'd be doing me a favor. Sure. Oh, sorry. It's just I thought you were one of them. Oh, dear, dear. What I'd give for even an ounce of their feral ignorance. A burden often accompanies self-awareness, sir. Living with the abject savagery of one's own kith and kin is quite more than one can bear sometimes. No! The torment of it all! I understand. I, too, am of a series designed to destroy. Oh. 
In that case, I have something that may interest you. But may I first humbly request a meager few bolts for food? So yeah, it's quite expensive, 40,000 bolts. And uh, yeah, you, you do need this. Lovely long time since I've eaten. This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Algon City, where Protopet Mania is in full swing. For those who've spent the past week in hypersleep, the Protopet is Megacorp's wildly popular bioengineered pet. Adorable, non allergenic, and housebroken, fans of the creature have dubbed it the perfect companion. Between the Protopet's surprisingly low price tag and its lightning fast breeding cycle, there may soon be more than enough Protopets for everyone. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. The entire population of that planet will be devoured. Unless we get there in time. So that gives us another planet we can go to. Uh, but that is this planet completed. See all the areas completed there and all the um, platinum bolts as well. There aren't any skill points associated with this planet. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But next episode... I think... Yeah, I think um, we have to go to Algon City on Demossel, the uh, video that we just saw first, and then we can go back to uh, the Tundra Wastes on planet Grelbin, because I think you need the Hypnomatic um, in order to do a section of uh, this level. And I think uh, that piece of the Hypnomatic is found on this planet. Uh, but I'll, d I'll double check in between... Uh, episodes um, but on this planet we have uh, another giant clank section against the boss and that will give us a very useful item that we'll use to uh, go back to several other planets and uh, there's a lot of enemies here and I definitely recommend up if you can upgrading to the plasma storm uh, the level 2 plas uh, plasma coil because uh, it makes cleaning out this area uh, certain areas in this level much easier um, and then on Planet Grelbin, which is where Angela Cross went to in order to get her Megacorp ID, um, there's another Crystal Hunt type section, but it gives a lot more bolts than the first one we did on Planet Tabora. And there's a few glider sections and platforming sections. A uh, very fun planet, this one, with probably one of the most annoying enemies of the entire series uh, on it. Uh, so we've got that to look forward to as well. Like I said, I'll double check in between episodes which one we have to go to first, where the uh, depending on where the hypnomatic part is. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and have been enjoying the series so far and been finding it useful. If you have been enjoying the series, please like and subscribe for more, and then that way you won't miss out on anything. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>